Well good afternoon and welcome back to the channel if you've been here before welcome to the channel if it's your first time it's Dave here the fat lad on a barbecue and today I'm going right out of my comfort zone so far out of my comfort zone it's unbelievable because today I'm doing two things I'm gonna be preparing this a cast iron Dutch oven um, and then when I've got it prepared I'm gonna be making and baking some bread <laughs> this is gonna be fun let's get into it <laughs> What's what's going to be involved in all of this? I need to get the Camargo started up, which that's it's lit and it's now coming up to temperature, he said, hopefully. And once it's up to temperature, then the brand new, yet to be seasoned properly. It comes pre-seasoned, but you can never trust it. So I'm going to season that in and that'll involve bringing it up to about 450 degrees, a little bit of oil, let it smoke off, leave it there for an hour or so. And that hour or so will give me a chance to make the bread. I can make the bread and then let that prove. And then the bread will be baked in the Dutch oven. Um, and that'll happen over time. We'll, uh, we'll see how it gets, uh, gets on. So when everything's up to temperature in the Camado, then I'll bring you back to see what's going on. Back in a bit. Alrighty, so seasoning the Dutch oven, seasoning cast iron, what's involved? Well, the bottom line on it is really, this covering currently is quite rough, it's, it's, it's been seasoned, you can see that there's oil on there, but it needs to be oiled and the oil burned in. So, a little bit of oil, not a lot, doesn't need much. A chunk of uh, what I like to call in this day and age, Elevens toilet roll, kitchen roll, then all I want to do is just wipe that round so it's got a layer of oil all the way around, just enough, not a lot, and this will season, it'll start like a non stick, I suppose you would call it. So that's that one. You've got to be a little bit careful, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit careful. That you don't leave bits of paper on but they will burn off so that's all right so that's oiled and shiny and now for the uh, the deep bit swap the two over oh. and same thing a little bit of oil just wipe it round really doesn't need much put a little bit more tad in you just really want to I suppose the word would be dump in your, uh, your kitchen roll and then you can dab it if you don't want to. Round the rim and that's it. It's uh, now ready to go into the Camaro and come up to heat. And while the Camaro is coming up to heat, there's nothing to stop me from putting it straight in there. So I think we'll do exactly that and I'll put the two side by side. So uh, let's do that and see how it all comes together. So in we go. Where's the temperature at? Not very high. Let's put them in and bring it up slowly. Side by side, just because I can't. That's of course, if I can, can I? No, right, we'll just stand that up against that. Put them down, we're off. That can now come up to temperature as quick as it likes and we'll see where we get from there so with that in that's got to get up to as I say uh, 450 degrees Fahrenheit that's 225 in centigrade uh, once it hits 225 we can leave it there for a few minutes and uh, once it's had its few minutes there'll be smoke coming off which hopefully we'll be able to see and then we we'll just pull it out let it cool down and on we go from there so I'll come back to you when we start making the bread. And so it comes to bread making time. So there's one or two bits and bobs we need to do. And get shot of that, because I don't need the oil. So that can go underneath there. I am, however, going to need a pan. 
on my heater. Now then, let's move stuff about a bit. I'll see my heater. Oh yeah, that's better. Now you can see what's going on. I never get these things right. So the way this is going to work is I've got 300 mils of water, which is what's required. That's going to go into a pan and a goodly chunk of butter that's going into the pan as well. What I want to do is melt that butter into the water so onto the ring it goes and when the butter's melted we're ready to carry on. Now let's have another quick check of the temperature of this water. We're at blood temperature which is exactly where I want to be. So now in with the yeast and this is a fast action dried yeast it's a bit out of date in truth uh, but I tried some a little bit earlier in water and uh, it seems to be doing the job yes so having done that give that a stir around and I'm gonna leave that just for a couple of minutes to get a start. Now that's been resting and, and, and sorting itself out for a little while, time for the flour. And I've got, as I said, 500 grams of strong flour. It's uh, Allenson's, Allenson's Strong weight. It's one I've used many, many times in the past. And that I'm just gonna dump in, like that, and then, just a small amount of salt no more than that it's about a teaspoon maybe have a little bit more because this is the pyramid stuff so that's that and now what we need to do is mix it and it's quite a gentle mix to start with I hope you can see what's going on here but eventually gets to the point where David needs to get his mitts in and bring it all together. It smells lovely. Tell you what I'll do. Sod the propriety of it all. I don't really care whether you can see the other camera. You know I'm using cameras. So let's get it right up close and then you can see what's going on in the bowl. There we are. How unprofessional, putting the camera there and having it being seen on the other camera, but I don't care. Right, we're there pretty much. Now it's starting time to bring this all together and starting the need. So pull it together and as you knead it, it starts to clean the inside of the bowl off and we've now got 10 minutes worth of this happening. Moving it round, stretching it, kneading it and so on and so forth. I'm just going to do this for the next 10 minutes. You, while you're watching this, could turn to your beloved and do the noble art of telling them you love them. Okay, so that's now pretty much needed. So all I'm going to do is just boil it up. Turn it over. All right. And then I'm just going to stick it over beside the Camado in order for it to rise. But while I look there, we're up to temperature for the um, for the Dutch oven. We're up to temperature for the Dutch oven. So let's have a look and see what's going on there. As you may be able to see, there is definite 
smoke coming off the oil. So now we need to get them out to cool off a bit. And uh, I'm going to do that with these gloves because these gloves are heat uh, resistant over here. And you'll see why in a minute. Phone out the way. The moment they're out the way. Move that forward on the trivet. Put that there. Right. And now move my yeast yeasted door over beside the Kamar door. Now we wait for around about an hour or until that door has doubled in size. Meanwhile, I'm hoping this cools down <laughs> relatively quickly. Um, I also need to check. Yes, there's a little bit of warmth there. That's good. Just move it away a little bit. And then we're all good. Right. Back to you when the door's proved. All righty then. We're doing quite well. Um, these pans have cooled. The, the Dutch oven has cooled, which is nice. The door, the bread door is proving. Um, now I should say this is the first time I've done this so I don't know I'm going by stuff I've read stuff I've seen on the internet and what it tells me is to preheat my Dutch oven up to around about 225 to 250 in centigrade 450 to 500 in uh, freedom height if you want to say so I'm going to stick the Dutch oven back in there now uh, just to come back up to heat and again I'll be keeping them stack stacked separately um, ready to take the door when it's ready to go in so oven open that's over that Oof. that's over that oven closed and lovely that can now preheat for as long as it takes the door to prove um, I'm not going to bash it back too much, just a little bit. It's not going to get a full second proving um, because time's too short. It might get 20 minutes, it depends. It's been proving now for about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, and seems to be growing a little bit. So we shall leave that alone. It's quite cool in here. The ambient temperature is, he said, checking. 16 and a half degrees if I come over to where the uh, Camado is that's not rising by much so it could take quite a while to prove um, and there's no real way of, of, of speeding that up it is what it is so it's going to prove there until it's ready to go and then I'm chucking it into the uh, Dutch oven and we'll see what happens like I say it's very much of an experiment back at you when we're ready to do that Right, we're, we're, we're nearly there. Um, looking at this, there's a rise. It's not massive, but you know, the... Uh, the yeast was, uh, was quite old actually. So what I need to do now, I think, is get it on the go. And uh, I need to be careful how I do this, if I'm to be honest. So let's lift the lid, trying to do this so that, you know, I'm not getting in the way of anything. The lid comes up, we can take the dough out and I have to say it doesn't look bad at all. That can drop straight in there like that, get this out the way and then we can just lift the lid on, lids on, pull that into the centre. lid goes down and we now let that bake for 50 minutes and in 50 minutes time I'll take the lid off and that should give us a crust here's hoping fingers crossed so that'll come up uh, and in 50 minutes time it'll be grand but of course the beauty about it is with the Dutch oven the Dutch oven was already at temperature 425 and it won't have lost any of its temperature so it started the cook and then the Kamado can catch up it's so clever um, and like I say it's the first time I'm doing this so if I've got it all wrong if I haven't done anything right you know what to do leave a comment down below and uh, and that'll help me out because 
I need all the help I can get. Back later when we take the lid off. Right, well, there's about a quarter of an hour left of the cooking time, the baking time to go on the bread. So it's time to pull the lid off the Dutch oven. So on with the heat proof gloves because I really don't want to get myself burned. And let's uh, put its lugs up. Stick a trivet here because these, uh, these things don't half get hot. And let's lift the lid. Take the lid off. Whoa! And uh, it's actually not looking bad. I don't know whether you'll be able to see. Let's see if we can get the camera in there. Look at that. That's not bad. So it's got about 10 minutes to go. So let's get the lid back down. And uh, I'm quite impressed by that. That's, that's going quite cannily. Quite cannily. Those of you that aren't Geordies probably won't understand what I mean. Canny means good. So it's doing well. Yes. Impressive. I'm going to move this so that it's on stainless steel. Because that makes a lot more sense because that'll cool off and I just don't want to take the chance of burning anything. So I'll come back to you when we're ready to take the loaf out of the Camado. Well that's it, the alarm's just gone off so that's it, time's up. Time to get the loaf out. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Right, oh dear me. Hot, it's very hot. So let's see if I can turn it out without burning everything. Ah. And there we have it. It's a little bit over overdone maybe on the bottom, but let's uh, lift it and give it a knock if I can. Hot, 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 hot. Listen. So that's it. It's cooked. It's done. I've actually managed to bake some bread. Now it's not mega and it looks a little bit strange and weird and horrible, but I suspect it's going to have a lovely crispy crust and I suspect it'll be very nice with some picanha, which you'll see about on Thursday. But I'm going to let this cool down and then we'll have a look at it and see what it's like. It's going to take a few minutes to cool, of course it is. Um, and I'm going to have to be careful that I don't touch this very hot Dutch oven. But if this is the way it's going to work, and assuming I can get uh, hold of yeast and flour and stuff like that, I'll certainly be doing this again, just going by the look of it and the smell, which is lovely. So uh, I'm going to let it cool down for 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Then we'll uh, get the bread knife out. We'll uh, chop the slice off, stick some butter on it and see what it's like. Back with you then. Do you know what? I can't wait. It's been five or ten minutes. That's, you know, whatever. I like hot bread, so I'm going to give it a try and I don't care what anybody says. It's there, look. So let's uh, slice into it, shall we, and just see what it looks like. Crusty. Nice and crusty. Have a slice. Come on, get in. There you go. And there it is, look. It's dense. To be fair, it is dense. But, let's clag some butter on. Yes, I used most of it in making it. Bit butter, this is going to melt in lovely. Move that and then people can say what you're doing, David. Butter and bread. You've seen people butter and bread before. Let's give it a try. Mmm! <laughs> To be fair, it's dense. But that crust, so crunchy. To be honest, it's underproved. I haven't proved it for long enough. But when it got to an hour and a quarter, hour and a half, I just got fed up with waiting. So, in it went and you saw another proof 
given it another probably would have taken another hour to get it up to a decent proof would have made a hell of a difference but it's really nice the flavor's gorgeous mm. and i like the crusty crust it's crunchy it's lovely so there you have it it's the first time that I've done this never used a Dutch oven before never baked bread in a Dutch oven before never baked bread on a Komodo before it's a first I hope you found it useful I hope you've learned something from it if you have please do give it a big thumbs up down below leave a comment tell me what you think give me some advice tell me what I need to do uh, is there an easier way of proving this and all of that kind of stuff and if you haven't yet subscribed please do consider subscribing because it helps the channel out and we can all get together and have some fun so until the next time i see you on the next video from me keep your chart all lit and let everything work out the way it's supposed to stay lucky stay safe stay healthy see you on the next one bye bye <laughs>